You know, for most of us, when we're putting together our home studios, the last thing that we're thinking about or trying to allocate money toward is our chair that we're going to be sitting in. We got to think about our recording gear, the vibe in our space, instruments that we need, all these other considerations that are usually not cheap things that we've got to, you know, if we have a budget, it's usually pretty small when we start getting our home studio set up. So probably like a lot of you guys, for me, when I got started, I was thinking about the chairs that I've seen in a bunch of studios that I've been in, these Herman Miller Aeron chairs, and they are super comfortable. They give you all this ergonomic support, all this lumbar support that you need but they have a price tag that none of us can afford. So you get on Amazon, you start looking for the cheapest, best option, cheapest, maybe not the cheapest, most most bang for the buck option in a chair that's gonna meet our needs and it's gonna keep us sitting at our desk, our creative spaces for hours and hours and hours on end and give us the best support possible. Probably, actually, most of us are like, oh, my back's fine, everything will be good. And then you get in a workflow and you start spending a lot of time uh, working five or six hours in your studio and you realize that your back's all jacked up and the doctor said that you're gonna need a bacchiotomy. I, need a I ended up there very recently. When I started looking for a chair, as I said, I had no budget to buy a chair. Spending, you know, a thousand plus dollars on a chair seemed outrageous to me. It was like, you know, when you have to take your car to the uh, mechanic and you got to spend money that you know you need your car to be functional, it's the last thing you want to be spending money on. So started reading all kinds of reviews on Amazon. I got a chair that looked good, had decent reviews. I'm like, this will get me to the next phase. And I guess it has. But today we're here to talk about the Stealth Pro Engineer's chair because my back has been so jacked up. Uh, I've been spending a lot of time sitting at that desk behind me and it was time to make a move. And on today's video, we're gonna go all through this chair. And I'm gonna tell you my first, give you my first impressions about it, tell you if I think it's worth the money that it costs and also encourage you, if you are looking for a chair and you're specifically the Stealth chair, go to Sweetwater and let those fine folks uh, set you up with one. They have great financing options. They're also going to give you an option. If you don't like the chair, you can send it back. You got 30 days to send it back to them. And they are going to warranty anything you buy from them for two years, regardless of the manufacturer's warranty. So they're not sponsoring this video, but they have been a huge part of me getting my studio dialed in. So I'm just doing them a solid and trying to send them some business. All right, you're seeing this shirt. I'm not the kind of guy that wears my own merch, right? But it occurred to me that some of you guys might want to find a way where you can support this channel. And I thought, hey, let me set you guys up with a, a next level t-shirt. Not that the shirt's next level, but the brand is next level. And if you know anything about high quality, top tier t-shirt stock, soft, well-made, next level is at the top of that game. So if you'd like to cop yourselves one of these t-shirts, I've also have some, some koozies on there. I'm gonna put a link in the description. You can uh, go to my website and uh, support this channel. And I wanna thank you in advance. It's good to get these things out and about, digging the new t-shirt. I'm gonna take it off soon because I feel like a total poser wearing my own t-shirt, but I think you'd look good in one. All right, with that said, let's uh, go check this chair out. So I'm gonna just do a quick spin around in this, uh, Stealth Engineer's chair. I want to talk about a few of the things that I really like about the chair and what attracted me to um, to this company and to specifically giving this chair a shot. So as I mentioned before, I've had some lower back issues for a long, long time. And um, when I sit for extended periods of time and I don't have good lumbar support, I start having uh, kind of back issues, sciatica issues, and it makes it really challenging to to sit here at this desk and get the work done that I need to do and to be focused on what I need to be focused on and not having to get up and stretch and get on a foam roller and all the things that I've been having to do lately. And so when I started looking for a chair option, one of the things that attracted me to the stealth chairs, one was that it was specifically designed for what I'm doing. And so if you're somebody who is uh, on a touring rig that works front of house or does lights or does monitors for someone and you find yourself in this, a similar spot 
it's great for that. What's great about it is it comes with uh, two hydraulic arms. One is a long one, one is a short one that I have in here. So if you need a chair that sits up higher, kind of a, uh, a bar stool height chair, you have that option. It comes with both of them. It comes with two sets of casters. It comes with the, um, you can get it with the executive back, so the high back uh, backrest, or you can get the, uh, the low back. But you can also buy the other one. They have all the parts are modular. It's not buy this chair and then if you, it doesn't meet your needs and you have no option to sort of uh, customize it to be what you want it to be. I loved that about it. I also liked, I was concerned about spending the amount of money. This chair was $699 plus tax, so about $750, give or take, delivered to the house, to the studio. And uh, so I, I was concerned about the uh, build quality in it and what people had to say about whether it was going to hold up. And what I really loved about it is that you're not going to find one single bad review of this chair. It's pretty remarkable um, what people have to say. And after sitting in one, it's with good reason. You fully understand. Um, and again, I think the, the my favorite thing also about it is the modular component of it. So if you want to try out the high back, if I decide that, you know what, this low back is good when I'm in here engineering, but if I want to take this into my uh, editing bay in my office, well, maybe I want to swap out the backrest on it and I can do that. It's not cheap. It's $200 for the other backrest, but the ability to change the function of the chair when I, when it when my needs change, I love that. And I'll have to uh, get rid of a chair because it no longer meets my needs. I want to talk a little bit about what the chair does. So like most chairs, it, does, it raises and lowers on the hydraulic arm, right? So you can go down, you can lift this thing up. It'll sit up way high. I mean, that's pretty high. You can drop it down where you want it. The backrest locks at any point in the pendulum of where it adjusts. So it has an arm down here somewhere. If I could just find that arm. Oh, there we go. That's what we're looking for. All right, so this, as you can see, it's gonna move with you and it's gonna follow you in as you move in. But if you wanna lock this arm, then it just sits back. So if you want something that you wanna be sitting back and you don't want it following you, you don't want that support, you can adjust that at any moment. I like having it where it's constantly giving me that lumbar support and it is, it just feels incredible. And then you can also do the, the exact same thing with the with the seat. So the seat follows you in. Um, if you're leaning it, so it'll also recline back. But as you are working here at the desk and you need to have the whole chair moving with you, you can do that and you can quickly, you can quickly at any point in that sweep lock the bottom into place also. So it gives you uh, just a lot of customization and really being able to get it dialed into what you need in the moment. The armrest raised and lower, and that was a big concern for me. The biggest thing I was worried about, and I couldn't find a lot of videos on it, so I do wanna talk about this for a minute. A lot of us who are gonna be using this chair are uh, tracking in our home studios, or tracking in any studio. And one of the things that I loved about my other chair is that the armrest raised completely up and out of the way. So when I'm in here tracking, I have full range of motion holding a guitar. So I was concerned about my ability to say, hold an acoustic guitar when I'm in here tracking. And you can see the arms turn out and turn in. They raise and lower, but they don't move completely out of the way. So. That is a consideration, but one thing that I've noticed that if I just come up on the seat just a little bit, I still get the uh, support from the backrest because it's moving with me. And I'm able to have full range of, I can be right here, it's, it's helping me promote good posture. It's keeping me kind of sitting up prone. And I don't feel like it's gonna be an issue at all. 
And if I need to, I could always kind of turn this way. If I want to be sitting way back on the chair, I can do that and then just turn a little bit in the seat and I'm able to do exactly what I need to do. And let's take a look at a, a couple more of these instruments, just to give you a, you know, the varying things you might be using if you're playing bass. With bass, I really don't feel any, the acoustic's really the only one where I feel like I need a little more depth with the body coming to me. The bass feels perfect here. See if you can see the arm as I'm whacking this mic stand with it. But, um, you know, you just, that's the thing that's most important for me. It's just constantly supporting me and giving me what I need. Um, and then lastly, we'll take a look at this hollow body right here just to kind of give you that other thing to consider. You know, again, pull the arm out. If you need to come, if you need to turn a little sideways, you're still getting that support from the backrest. Um, and out of tune, I didn't tune these guitars before I started playing them. It's early here. The magic of video. So I had to reshoot this video because yesterday didn't go so good. Um, but I just have to say it is quite an investment in buying a chair that's going to cost you $750 to get it to your house. I understand that. But the things to consider are you are going to use this chair for a long, long time. And if you have invested money into gear and into a space and you've made that commitment to having this creative space and you're putting the time in to make great music, to make whatever your art is, because this isn't really just uh, about, certainly this chair is designed and caters to a, uh, a need that we all have as music engineers and music creators, but this could be um, a chair that would be great for so many different people. And uh, if you're going to invest in whatever your craft is, the least thing that you could do is invest in how uh, you take care of your body while you're doing that. So you want to come in here every day. I want to be in here. I'm not going to be worried that three hours in, I'm going to be, my shoulder's going to be hurt, my back's hurt, and all the achy things and I've just noticed within just a week of having this chair that I am feeling much much better just in terms of my body I, this promotes me having better posture than how I get very slumpy in my other chair because it doesn't have that continual support for my back my lower lumbar my kind of L4 L5 where my issues are in my back and it really it's weird that with the low backrest, I still get all of the support. My upper back feels so much better. So that's gonna be my initial impressions of this chair. We will circle back in a few months and I'll do an update on this chair, let you guys know, uh, you know, after I've been using it for a while, what I think about it. But I can tell you this, I was a little apprehensive when I spent the money on the front end, but I knew I needed to do something and, uh, I narrowed my choices down to this chair or finding an Aeron chair, finding a Herman Miller Aeron used chair. And I'm so glad that I went with the stealth chair and I'll be real honest with you. I think there's probably a real good chance that there will be another one in my future with the executive high back that's going to go in my editing bay in my, um, in my office for when I'm editing these videos for the exact same reason. And uh, if you're on the fence about getting one, um, again, I think that it makes real good sense to do business with Sweetwater because they have a 30 day, no questions asked, money back guarantee return policy that you can buy this chair from them. They have great financing. They, outside of any manufacturer's warranty, they guarantee all the stuff they sell for two years and to give you the ability to send the chair back if you don't love it. So hit the folks at Sweetwater up. You'll be glad you did. They are not sponsoring this video though. I would love for them to sponsor the videos. All right. So that's going to be the video for this week. If you are not subscribed to the channel and you're still watching this video, hit 
click that subscribe button, turn your notifications on so you get notified when the videos come out. Drop me a comment, let me know what you think about the chair. Let me know if you have any questions about the chair or any kind of feedback you'd like from me on my experience so far using the chair. I'd be happy to share that. I'd love to know where you're at in the world and where you're at in your music journey. And uh, if you like the video, smash the like button. I'm Justin Brogdon. Until next time, you guys keep doubling down on the things that you love. Keep making all that music and keep being good to each other. We'll be talking to you soon. Peace.